Hello, parents. Welcome to the Holy Rosary Highlights of the Week. The virtue of the week was honesty, and the virtue talk given by Father Ullincott is attached at the end of this video. You see here some shots of the students having fun and learning in the library and in their reading groups. The virtue next week will be humility. Please be sure to go over the daily paragraphs and prayers with your children at home. At the end of this month, or technically at the beginning of next month, November 1st, we'll have an All Saints party and a costume contest. As you know, Halloween on October 31st actually comes from All Hallows Eve, the Eve of All Hallows or All Saints Day, which is on November 1st. And we'll celebrate All Saints Day on that Friday and have a party and have fun together. Thank you so much. We hope you have a wonderful weekend and God bless. You guys are all being so quiet. That's nice. That's nice. Do you know what we're talking about today? Inga? Honesty, yeah. I don't know if there's much to say about honesty. I think it's pretty clear. Do I need to tell you anything? You guys know all about honesty? <laughs> so that's our virtue this week. Um, of course, maybe we know about it, but then the next problem is actually doing it and being faithful to that. But let's start with a prayer. Um, remember the sushi pig prayer? We're going to pray that together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take, O Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. All that I have and call my own, you have given all to me, Lord, and to you I return it. Everything that I have is yours. Do with it what, do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. With these I am rich enough. And I ask for nothing more. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, so um, I bet, like, what, does anyone want to go for it? Like, what do you think the virtue of honesty is in, like, three words? Yeah. Uh-huh. What's honesty? Honesty. If I ask you... Uh, Mia, did you take cookies out of the cookie jar? And Mia knows that she did. What's Mia going to say? Even though she, I'm just picking on Mia. Mia, you never do this, do you? <laughs> no. But I'm just, I'm making an example. So if you've done something wrong, <coughs> if you've done something wrong, for example, and someone, and, and someone asks, did you do this? Um, and you say, no, I didn't. Is that being honest? Yeah, no, I think you're all pretty clear on that. So one, one way we can describe honesty is, um, is sincerity or openness. So sometimes honesty requires that we be open about ourselves. And then also truthfulness in, one, in one's words and actions. What do you think, uh, what is the opposite of being honest? What's the opposite of being honest? Sebastian. Lying. Yeah, that's a word we need to be familiar with. Lying. That's the opposite of honesty. So, for example, how, how can we practice honesty? Just simply by telling the truth. Um, do we tell the truth even when it hurts and maybe makes us look bad? Yeah. And that's where the virtue really comes in. If it's going to make us look bad... But I say, I want to practice this virtue. I'm going to be virtuous. I'm going to, even though it makes me look bad or makes uh, others think bad of me, I'm going to still be honest. I'm going to tell the truth. And you know, also another way to do this is, is um, like, let's say you make a mistake, whether it's an honest mistake or maybe an, in, uh, an intentional mistake that we don't, um, especially for us older people, we don't cover up our mistakes. We just tell the truth. In all situations, speaking up also when someone is being treated wrongly. Okay, so those are some ways. And we, we know that, um, does God know, here's a question, does God know if we are lying? Does God know what we're thinking inside our minds? Yeah. Can anyone else read our minds? Anyone, anyone else? Even the devil? Nope, nope. God is the only one that can read our minds. 
And so God knows our heart, so, but we don't want to hide things from our parents or uh, other people, our teachers or other people. So that's what, that's what honesty is. You know, an, another thing to be aware of, boys and girls, when you catch yourself lying, and, I, and I, I should say if you catch yourself lying, because you, I hope none of you do, none of you lie, but if, if you catch yourself lying, um, there's probably a good chance that you're lying or wanting to lie, being tempted to lie, because you're doing something else bad. Okay? So not all, this isn't always the case, but many times when you catch yourself lying, if you catch yourself lying, think also, boy, I need to be honest about this. But also, you can say, well, if I, would just, if I just um, didn't do something, this other thing wrong, for example, the example of Mia, Mia, sorry to pick on you, but if Mia took cookies out of her, their cookie jar and then she wanted to lie about it, I know Mia would never do this, but if someone, if you're like that, if you, take, if you do something wrong that you know your parents don't like, what are you going to want to do? If they confront you with it, you're going to want to lie. And so, and so think about that. Not only do you lie then, but you also, um, well, you've also done, well, you've done something wrong, but then you're, then you're lying about it. And so, you know, if you catch yourself lying, especially this week, well, all the going forward, if you catch yourself lying, pay attention also. Gosh, maybe that's a sign that I shouldn't be doing what I wanted to lie about. Does that make sense? Like if you're do, if typically when you want to lie about something, um, and I bet most of us are tempted to lie. Good thing most of us don't. But if, if you're tempted to lie about something, it might just be because that something that you're wanting to lie about is also something that you shouldn't be doing. How's that? Make sense? Okay. So when your teacher asks you, <clears throat> did you hit your other uh, student in class? And let's say you did it. And it means you're going to have to go to the principal's office. What are you going to say? <laughs> you're going to tell the truth, right? Always tell the truth. All right. But you're not going to hit anybody either. Okay. Well, let's pray, and then I'll let you guys go. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> Dear Jesus, you said that I am the truth. You have made me for truth, because you have made me for yourself. Help me, help all of us to be honest in all that I say, all that we say, and all that we do, that we may know true happiness in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great. Well, thank you, guys.